Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the birth of Islam. Uh, Muhammad. What a jerk. He is tempting me with a lot. He gives much. Hmm. But, it is what you expect. We cannot give up our beliefs. So sad, I know. Mecca and Medina have sadly converted to Sunni. What would be really funny now is if Medina converted to uh, orthodoxy or something. And orthodox was... Loop. We have to hold out for 20 years. <clears throat> Basically, uh, it will spread very slowly in our realm, thankfully. Uh, it will spread quicker up here, so I expect the first province to actually convert will be Tabuk. We will see, though. <clears throat> we will see. Nice. Go die. <sighs> yes. We we just have to wait 20 years, uh, and then we can come back to Medina. So the, the good news is, like I said, it will spread very slowly because everything is Christian. Uh, it's, it spreads much, much slower against Christians. And extremely slowly against Aryans, actually. Uh, it spreads faster versus Orthodox. But, you know. Wow, Parthia is just annexing Armenia, who apparently managed to have no allies. Good job. Surprised you survived as long as you did, honestly. We must, under no circumstances, however, allow it to reach a state in which we're, we're fucked. We gotta be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Can the Caliphate... The, I, yeah, we've checked the code. There is no way to spawn the Caliphate since I have decided to turn it down. That's useful for us. That means, yeah, here's an event. Joining the Caliphate. You are the Caliph. You have the modifier Rise of Islam. Any neighboring country owned by the AI is Turco-Semitic. For those of you paying attention, Turco-Semitic is this. And inherit. Yeah, yeah, it says freaking inherit. If I were the uh, Caliphate, if I took the Caliphate, I would inherit every one of these countries. Because they all border me. Except the Mamluks, but I'll border them eventually. Like, I would just explode. Then we have the Oghuz there. The Turks. So, you know. That's what you get. And like I said, things have been calm for now. It's only 20 years until we can fix the problem. Arakong. Monthly progress of nothing. Of course. It's going to be tricky. Mecca Medina shouldn't be too hard to convert. Yeah. Religious zeal is 8%, though. 2, 3, 4, 5. Get up to 7. Yeah, not enough. Ooh, gain one base tax there. I'll take it. That puts Muscat up to 12. I do believe with these events we've managed. No, we're not Constantinople yet, but we're getting there. Edoti, sure. I don't even know who the hell that is. It belongs to it. Belongs to Canidia. Anyway, for the most part, we can completely uh, ignore the rise of Islam. Allied with Bhutan. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Do it to it. All right, some Byzantine heavy Praetorians. Eh, I'm not particularly worried about it. <laughs> we will capture a Psalm as well, which is always nice. This time we declared war on, you know, what what's his face? Bengal, so that works out. Okay. So yes, the rise of Islam has happened, and I don't care. <laughs> as strange as that is, the calculations show we should be fine. And completely capable of controlling it. We hope. We do truly hope. Alright. So the actual goal of this war includes Telangana, Jahakland, Gada, 
And basically all that stuff. Let's see. That's apparently colonial India. I would have figured that would have been colonial Tibet, to be honest. But, I don't know. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter in the end. Mon's just doing its thing. And it's about to be annexed, too, so we do get a uh, free regiment set here, which is nice. Who can we make peace with? No one. Everyone here is in the freaking coalition. Good lord. I've just been beating and raping their coalition over and over again. They are in misery. Alright. And Kanadia is not helping anyone, so that works out fine for me. Still had... Uh, really? Eh, whatever. We can work with that at least. Okay. I'm gonna have to remember, I'm actually gonna have to take control of some stuff. Uh, that those dudes over in wha whatever this is called, Paiu, who have taken to the coalition like jerks. All right. Yes, you. Ca that is how you stop having colonial nations. However, there's a problem with doing that. Namely, uh, you can't move your capital to the New World unless it is completely and 100% isolated. You cannot have a single other province in Europe. Having any provinces in Europe means you cannot move your capital. If you guys survive, good work. Eh, you survived. Good work. Fine by me. Good. Get them. Get them, boys. Zhao's ended their peasants war. That's nice. Telangana will fall soon. God damn. Casualties up the wazoo. Alright, Telangana fell. Good. That gives us more firepower to bring. Alright. <laughs> Move up there. Gotta win that front as well. We have a lot of area that we have to cover here. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Really? God damn it. I can't contain the orthodoxy. I am trying hard, but I'm really having trouble with it. Mostly because my piety just randomly drops for no reason. I have no idea why it just randomly does sometimes. I have a feeling it's probably events that aren't properly showing me piety because I'm not Muslim. If I had to guess, that's probably it. Um, that would make sense. Alright, they're running around randomly. Mercantilism is right. Alright. Soon though, well, we pretty much have everything here. 32% for that, jeez. Uh, this is why I hate coalitions. It really reduces the amount I can take in one more. Alright, we have a new heir to the throne. It was cool. Like I said, our kings have an extremely short lifespan. I have yet to figure it out. You know? Send a replacement? In that case, you get a bureaucratic candidate. Cool. Xentia has done pretty well for itself, having converted that region of Africa to Aryan. Eventually we will see other uh, things pop up there, but for now, that they're, the Kanem Bornu and them are the only two, so. You know, we gotta wait. How are they main? Okay, it's only 1,000 troops. I was gonna say, that's quite a lot of troops for one province with one base tax there. Just a thought, you know? Really? You won't even give me that? Jeez. Alright. Claim on Tungu? Sure. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Sounded like something I'd find over there. 
can get rid of you. Yeah, we we have a nice coastline here. I like it. Very nice coastline. Oh yeah, you guys are mercs. We don't need you anymore. Good. Carry on. Just trying to siege down as much from uh, Kunidia as we can. We're after as much of uh, Colonial India as we can get right now. Colonial India will be important very soon. Although, that's a problem. We shouldn't have negative stability. It's hard keeping this up. Had a toy. About time. Let's move up there. You go stop Bhutan. Yeah, you're not doing so hot there, are you? No, no, you're not. On the retreat constantly, and losing territory fast. It must hurt. Boy, must it hurt. Yeah. Good, you guys won. I was getting worried for a bit there. Gunity is the only, really, you know, force who can stop it. Stop me now. Satavahana? Yeah. Could just take those two provinces. I mean, that's all we need left from Satavahana. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at two provinces for now. Then I never have to deal with Satavahana again. Thankfully. Alright. Buddhism is on the run. And we've taken more land from the Orthodox scum. It shall be over time converted. Hopefully. We've been having a lot of problem with that recently. It's an extremely large amount of problem with it, as you can see. Yeah, we lose a lot of piety at some point. I don't know. There's no, it seems no reason for that, and I can't tell why. It's very strange. It's not like it's... I used to think it was decaying over time, but it just randomly disappears for, like, a couple of seconds. Like, I blink, and suddenly we lose 25 piety or something. It's gotta be, you know, uh, some event-based thing or something. I don't know. Why can I see things in America? Because I started out pagan for the first 300 years of the game. And that allowed me to see America. No, let's see. Don't really need military points. Thanks, though. Yeah, the Uruguay Confederation is getting pretty big there. Not gonna lie. It's doing pretty good for itself. Ah, there's their colony. Yeah, they take that. They have uh, the whole northern... Yeah, they... Wow. Yeah, they pretty much have North America there. Why, wait, is Australia already colonized? No. <laughs> Australia should not be colonized right now, as far as I can tell. Probably not. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. So, how are things going over here? Culture. Russian. I wonder if the Russian culture will win out. Hmm. They are Russians here. And they seem like the big ones. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh, Daki has a core now. Continue conversions. Chittagong, we can't convert because stuff. Hopefully conversion continues now. No. Two, three, four, five. Five point three, five point four. Yeah, we're just short. If I could get up uh, another point of stability, that'd be enough. We need more admin points. Need a hell of a lot of them. To keep our stability up. Uh, yeah, you. You're hired. Mostly because we need a fuckload of admin points. 
Just give them all to me. Ten admin points per month. That's the that's the stuff. We spend so much of it, it's not funny. <laughs> Between making cores and all that other shit. Yeah. The Iroquois are uh, just kind of able to colonize since day one because of the native mechanics in uh, Quest, or Con Quest of Paradise. Yeah, that was the one. Because of Conquest of Paradise, so. Move Lackamins from the map. Maybe. So they've just been sitting there colonizing. So the Potawatomi. No one else seems to really give a shit. Oh, hey, Miami's actually colonizing now, too. Cool. So, you know. If you left the New World alone for 600 and years, I'm sure it would look like this too. But, that's all. But the Iroquois are becoming big, powerful, and strong. In short, colonization may be trickier. Have you thought about the Vikings visiting the Americas? Uh, yes, that happens in 900, give or take. That happens then. That, there's events for it and shit. Uh, and Denmark and the Norse get colonists. West Gates is now vassal of Denmark. Sounds about right. Jahakland. Good, we won. Chase those bastards down. No survivors. So, Ceylon, you are the next one. Pious rulers. Missionary strength. Gainving five mercantilism. Five mercantilism is too important to give up. Because mercantilism is kind of permanent throughout the game. So, that's important. That should go up to 30 now, I believe. At the end of the month. Or whatever. Yeah, probably. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's important to get mercantilism. It's too long term for me to pass up, you know? Yeah. Alright, so Ceylon's up next on the chopping block. We're going to annex them. Improve relations. Get to work. So, things have been silent over here. Uh, on the religion side of things. As I kind of said, we don't really have to worry uh, too much about Sunni. They will not, you know, do much. It's already halfway and they haven't even spread a single province yet. So, it works out pretty well for us. And one more month, and we're ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have a free merchant. Anyway, plus three stability. That allows us to continue our conversion in Chittagong. Very important. We must get it all. All of it. But, yeah, we have pretty much the whole Indian coast to ourselves now, which is kind of good. It's us, Cylon, and the Maldives out here. Not a single soul elsewhere. Uh, who's drafted, I guess? I don't know. Garjat. We're really fighting the whole uh, orthodox plague here. We're doing our best. Uh, some areas, though, just refuse to convert and stay converted. Like I said, in 867, that all changes and we're golden. We are freaking golden because orthodox stops spreading then. And uh, 647, we have to drop all uh, all conversions and take out Mecca and Medina right away, though. We need to get to work immediately on those. No questions asked. Shouldn't Islam be on the rise? You'd think, but uh, because of Arianism, no. Arianism has successfully managed to replace Islam completely. Two, three, four... 5.5 6 Yeah, not too bad Yeah, alright, cool Kushan's conquering Parthia No, nothing really out of the ordinary there you know, It's good because uh, Kushan's Aryan Parthia is not Alright Not terrible Not terrible at all Trading in ivory. Woohoo! We're trading in ivory, guys. It's all civil war. <laughs> yes, it's pagan or Islam's kind of there. We'll kill it in a 
about, you know, 11 years from now. <laughs> Whatever. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. We're almost there. We almost have enough. Better leave it be. Alright. Okay. Mm. Wouldn't it be really funny if they ended up colonizing Europe? Mm, they could. I could potentially uh, allow that to happen. <laughs> it, it definitely could happen, yes. I could allow it. Seriously, though. Eventually, like, the Iroquois is going to own all, everything here. And they're just going to be North America. There will be no colonies in North America because of the Iroquois. When they westernize, all hell. All hell will break loose. Do I care? Not really. Uh, stop that. God damn it. Must fight the conversions. Like, this front's been entirely stable the whole freaking time. No single thing. It's all over here that's a problem. Asia's a mesh. Mess. I think Arian's winning, though. Ayatahaya appeared. They're Buddhists. Hmm. Sayohuana? Yeah, okay. That could work. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's gonna do it for the day, guys. That's not bad. I'm happy with how this all kind of is turning. We will eventually, like I said, be all the way up here. And we will take it for ourselves, but Zhao can hold it for now. Zhao Han. They're kind of weird now. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.